Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now the middle of February of 2023. We are just a couple of weeks out from the official debut of The Mandalorian Season 3 on March 1st. That's really going to kickstart John and Dave's journey with the Star Wars franchise in a more respectful light, given that Kathleen Kennedy has little to no power now, except for the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. And speaking about the Acolyte, we're going to be diving into a lot more about that as well. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, one thing about the Acolyte series, and we've talked about this numerous times, that it is going through a lot of reshoots, a lot of setbacks, production issues, uh, cast and crew uh, problem problematic situations as well. Some of the crew members were either fired or walked off the set. Same thing happened with skeleton crew and or replaced. It's been a very messy couple of months for both of those shows. However, Skeleton Crew is in better shape than the Acolyte right now. Now, given that the Acolyte is being pushed month after month, we were supposed to get this thing out by give or take holiday season of this year, and that's no longer gonna be a thing. Before that, they were trying to get this thing out by the summer of 2023. That's obviously not happening. So for now, the Acolyte is still slated to release in the spring of 2024, all right? Now, that could mean the very end of March, leading into April, or anywhere around there. Now, with that being said, however, recently Kathleen Kennedy has been causing more issues with the Acolyte series, and it's not looking good, because Disney's getting very frustrated with how things are turning out for the Acolyte show, based on recent footage that was demonstrated by Kennedy and exactly what it entailed, we will be going over each and every aspect about all of that. So, given that the Acolyte series is going through many changes right now between both Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland, the Disney board has been getting very frustrated with her latest decisions for the show that has only been causing more delays. Now, new test footage was recently demonstrated to the Disney board members for one of the episodes of the Acolyte that they plan to use for the trailer. Right now, Kathleen Kennedy actually ran into further issues with the Acolyte for Carrie Ann Moss's scenes that are said to be getting a major makeover by, by Disney executives. The footage demonstrated to Disney from Kennedy was described to be very out of place for Star Wars and that Disney was very unhappy with the dialogue being presented in this scene. Many executives are split on wanting to cancel the series altogether. Many of the board members are calling to cancel the show after seeing Carrie Ann Moss's scenes that were shown by Kennedy. Now, many of the other board members, of course, were unhappy about her scenes that were said to involve terrible dialogue and cheap CGI effects, and that is likely to drive fans away. Now, let me just pause here for a second. Now, I don't know if you guys really know who Carrie is, uh, but Carrie Ann Moss, she plays Trinity in the Matrix films. She is a part of the Acolyte series. Her scenes apparently are very underwhelming. In fact, extremely underwhelming to the point that Disney is really getting worried about this show because Carrie is like one of the leads of the series. She's one of the backbones of the Acolyte and it's falling apart. So the test footage being demonstrated by Leslie and Kennedy is not flying all that well, you know, behind closed doors, between themselves and the Disney board, and especially Bob Iger, who, by the way, is worrying about this show. This is why you're not hearing Kennedy talking about, you know, positive things about the Acolyte story-wise, but just her strict agenda of isolating George Lucas content and getting rid of the burden that she calls the Star Wars fans that favor the George Lucas visions. That's all that she really pretty much talks about when it comes to the Acolyte. It's about retcons or, you know, undoing George Lucas's previous work, stuff like that. Nothing about the story, nothing really about the plot or anything positive. So this is a very thing, big thing to worry about, I think. If I were in Disney's shoes, I would definitely want to maybe put this in a vault somewhere. <laughs> Similar to what happened, you know, with other projects out there, uh, non-Disney related. We've seen that happen many times with different production studios. Uh, for a great example, that Batgirl film, that's left in a vault somewhere. I felt bad for Brendan Fraser though, because, you know, I mean, 
Brendan Fraser is such a very, you know, talented actor, and he was involved in that, and that got locked up away. But nonetheless, this Acolyte series, it's not really looking like it's going to be something in favor for the fans. And Kennedy has said this multiple times, that the Acolyte is all about Shifting away from George Lucas's philosophy, undoing some of the canon and the lore, writing things on a blank canvas, and she openly stated that a lot of fans are going to be very well divided over this show if you're expecting it to stay in line with George Lucas' content. Now on to the next thing. Now, meanwhile, other board members are in favor of Kennedy and that they are actually the ones trying to salvage the show. The scene that was demonstrated was said to be a full-fledged lightsaber duel between multiple characters that was said to also have very cheap-looking stunts and effects that Disney is actually calling to cut from the new series for the fifth episode. Now, Kennedy is trying to reshoot these scenes that were shown to Disney in order to save Disney's view of the show in about one month from now. So basically, Kathleen Kennedy's way of dealing with this situation is reshooting the whole scene, doing everything over from scratch for the fifth episode, and then demonstrating this footage again to Disney higher-ups to see how they react. Because obviously this was not a good, you know, uh, first impression overall. We know that the Acolyte series is going to be a very controversial series. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy even said that it, it was going to be, especially for the hardcore fans that love prequel trilogy content and stuff like that. So, I think that at the end of the day, what's going to happen with this show, I don't believe it's going to get cancelled, even though Disney's calling to get it cancelled, you know, half of the board members are at least. I will be honest, I don't see the series getting cancelled for several reasons, one of which being is, <sighs> they really poured so much money into this thing, it's crazy. And it just really makes you wonder, you know, how much specifically are they going to lose on this show if it doesn't really fly that well on Disney Plus? That's the other thing that Bob Iger is worrying about is that this show may very well cause Disney Plus subscribers to actually bail and miss out on other franchises like Marvel and stuff like that. So that's the other worry is how big of an impact if it does fail, if it does fail. How big of an impact is the Acolyte going to have on subscribers and their interest in other, you know, uh, franchises related to Disney? So, overall, this is very interesting because the Acolyte, by the way, is aimed to be one of the bigger releases of 2024 in conjunction with Mando Season 4 and other shows out there. So, it's going to be an interesting dynamic for next year of how this is all going to really play itself out and how everything's going to really, you know, work out in the end. So, I think Bob Iger has quite a number of things to worry about here. The show really needs to kind of gain some control. It needs better creatives, that's for sure. So anyways, guys, you know, fill me in below in the comments, you know, what you think about all of this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.